Hello there and welcome back to another Ark Survival Ascended build tutorial. Today we're going to be building this Viking house or Viking starter house. You could definitely use this as your starter base since it's on the smaller side and you don't need too many materials to build this. At the end of the tutorial I'll do a little walkthrough of the build and the interior that I have done and of course in the case of this build you could make the pen on the outside as big or as small as you like or as you need. Okay let's get started with the foundation so if you found your building spot we want to start out with building the foundations three wide and five long and then just fill in the rest of this space so relatively easy and small shape to follow and then we want to grab some stone pillars or beams in this case and go all along but leave gaps where you want a door i want a door there and i want a door on this side as well but the rest we're just going to have beams on the outside oh we don't need that one let's get rid okay so you should have something like this and then we want to have the stone pillars on the corners and next to the doors as well um, in my case you don't really see them too much because of the long grass but it really depends on the location and just peace of mind, basically. So next to the doors as well. And then we are going to grab some uh, stairs, stone stairs in front of the doors. You could add sloped walls as well, but it won't let me in this case. So for the doors, we're going to place a double door on this side. And I'm going to choose a small door on this side. And make sure the wooden bits on the stone are on the outside. So we have some extra detail there. Same for the windows. I want one here and on the end as well. We'll clear up the weather first. Uh, so we have the windows on the ends. And we want some more on this side. This side, you could change this up depending on your locations and your needs. And then we're just going to fill in the rest of the walls. Again, make sure the wooden bits are on the outside because we want to use that as extra detail for this house. So just fill it in all along and then you should end up with something looking like this. This is the going to be the first floor of our base. So let's fill in the doors here just for the looks. There we go. So we have two doors, one going into the pen and one just basically has like a back door something like that okay so then we're gonna add some wooden pillars in the corners of the house there we go and then we will move to building the second floor uh, we're gonna go along the edge with these quarter ceilings because the next floor is a little bit bigger than this one. So just go along the entire edge and add these quarter ceilings so that we have the extra little bit of room. And this will make sure that our next floor has an even number, which will make it a lot easier to build a roof on it. That looks good as well. Oh, just make sure that all the ceilings are going the right way because you'll go crazy. Or at least I would go crazy knowing that one of them would be going the other way and there we go just all along the side um, this is going to allow us to build the uh, walls up here so we want to have windows at the ends of course make sure you flip the wood so the uh, beams are on the inside like so we want to have windows on both sides we're going to have the sloped roof next to it and on top to finish the house roof shape something like this so nice and easy and then we should have something looking like so uh, then we want to grab the wooden pillars again and add some support here and along the bottom as well now we do the same on the other side and just along the bottom of the beams and then some pillars as well edit to note i forgot the beams uh, going across Alright, so then we should have something like so. We can fill in all the windows as well. I like to switch them around so they go from uh, bottom upwards. I think that looks nice, but if you want them the other way around, it really doesn't matter too much. Um, oh, I want them the other way though. Just think that looks a little bit nicer. Um, Alright, well, let's open them because we want to let in some light once we start building the rest of the house there we go um so we now have something like this 
we want to have a stair going up of course so we'll place the stair right here and then we can fill in some of the ceilings don't fill in everything want to keep a gap in the middle so just go along the edge and fill it in this one needs to go actually um, so just some ceilings along the edge because as true vikings we want to have a fire in the middle and we want to have some room for the smoke to go uh, upwards so then we're going to have these guidelines on the ends so we can place some pillars in the right height and at the end of the stair as well then we'll grab all pillars and we'll make sure to have them on this height because that looks a little bit nicer and then on the bottom floor we can finish those pillars so they look nice and strong and also for the stair as well now let's grab these guides again because we don't need them because we're gonna fill this all in with railings of course um so let's grab some railings and let's fill in these gaps so we don't fall down and fall into the fire that wouldn't be very nice all right there we go so just all along this size of the stair as well so you don't fall onto the stairs um the last ones don't really matter too much uh but that's that's all fine then we have this space left um you can do whatever you want with the interior i'll show you some at the end though but this is what the house should look like right now then let's do the roof so grab your thatch make sure it extends one to the outside we want a little overhang and then just follow along the edge like so it should line up perfectly on the other side as well and the advantage of using these quarter walls on the outside means that we can do this alignment very easily without getting into any problems so you should have something like this then for the end piece of the roof we want to do uh, a little bit more work though because we want to make it look a little bit more special so what we do is we grab some quarter walls again and we're gonna make sure to stack three of them on top of each other like so um because we want to have the staking out bit let's do the same on the other side as well make sure that they're both facing the same texture the same side then we want to have the sloped wall and make it stick out like this this is the one you want so you might have to cycle through some and then you want to connect one to the bottom going back in like so um because then we'll have the nice roof shape and the second one is optional i guess but it just makes the shape on the outside look a little bit that's uh, in my opinion so we should have something like this and then we can finish our thatch roof just lay them like so so basically filling in the rest of the roof to make it all work and then we'll have the little end bits there's a little bit of detail and it looks vikingish to me uh we'll add a pillar like there to you know have a little bit more going on at the end and then we want to um, have of course the railings on top so flip them around and just go along the top of the roof uh, just some extra detail and I feel like this adds to the aesthetic that we're going for for this house. And we're going to not add too much more railings on the end. I do like them for an extra little bit of detail. Um, especially the top ones. But if you want, you can add some more underneath as well. Um, but this is personal preference. I see some people like them, some people don't. Um, in this case, I think it works for this house um so we'll do the same on the other side as well uh just going along like so and doing the same up here as well and then on the side of the house we want to make sure that there's some uh railing sticking out because i really like the look of that especially for this kind of building i think it fits very very well but that's all the railings that we're gonna use for the roof uh, let's see sometimes it has a little bit of trouble lining up the one you want just try another one and you'll get it eventually so just make sure you fill it in 
all the way along this side and this is gonna be our roof but oh that needs to go actually <laughs> but we need to color it as well so you want to have the filth color i know it sounds very filthy but in my experience this is the closest one to the actual grass texture um of course depends on which area you live in but if you build it in grassland where uh, like this which it's probably gonna match the best i think this filth color looks like the the perfect green like the grasses as well um so just paint the old roof of course now i'm using the fancy paint gun but you can just use your uh, paintbrush as well if you're using this as a starter base which shouldn't be too hard to make and there we go that already looks very nice in my opinion um very happy with that result blending in and then we're gonna do the pen again this is very personal preference this is not really like a block to block tutorial especially in this area i can barely see the stone fence foundations that i'm using so i'm just going on feel trying to lay down a nice shape but as i said in the beginning basically you can make this as big or as small as you want or need for your own uh, dinos like if you need more space you can make it bigger what i tend to do is lay down a couple of foundations and then place these stone railings on top of them stone facing up so i can see the shape a little bit better and then i try to go around until i have a pen the size of my liking and then i'll go and add into details as well um so we'll go a little bit further and then i'll show you how i make a gate for this kind of pen um but feel free to adjust this to your needs because it depends on your locations depends on how many dinos you want to be inside um with it yeah it's a very nice and easy way to make an enclosed space which should be uh, safe-ish for like smaller dinos um bigger dinos are probably not going to be bothered too much so you want to have the other fence foundations to make the entrance and then continue again with the ones we've been using the entire time and then i try to connect it back up with the building as well as we can sometimes it can be a little bit more difficult to actually make it connect nicely so it's just a little bit of trial and error trying to connect it up with the house but uh yeah just try some different shapes until it lines up almost to the house it doesn't have to be perfect because we will place a pillar on the end which basically will make sure nothing can get in then we want to have pillars on these foundations where the door is going to be we want to have a wall which is going to be a double door and then a wooden door inside which will be our gate and then on top of these stone railings we want to add some wooden railings now there's two very ancients you could start with the upside down wooden one and then place a normal one on top or just place a normal wooden railing right away depending on how high you want your fence to be i'll show the other variation at the end as well when we walk through the entire build but you just go along the entire stone railing like this to make your enclosure uh, and it should be again relatively safe uh, for most creatures but yeah nice way to start out and uh, nice feeling a little bit safer right around your house i guess there we go and then it should look something like this and then for the interior well at least i would place a fireplace uh for the fences you can pick whatever you like best but the fireplace i feel like is a must for this build so you should end up with something looking like this personally i really like this design i think it's nice and cozy it would be perfect as a little starter base or just you know nice and cozy house with a little pen for your favorite dinos and animals around it let's get into walking around and showing off the interior as well okay there we go the little house we just built this is the second variation for the railing or the fence you can just place it right like this on top of the stone fence and it should be big enough to keep in like smaller creatures like the Elvis, for example shouldn't get out let's go into the back door this is the cozy little inside 
other place. We've got some benches. Oh, wrong way around. Got some benches along this cooking pot in the middle. I think that works very well. Nice and cozy fireplace on, of course. We've got this little desk looking out of the window. Um, you've got plenty of options here. We've got the smithy, the forge, some storage around as well. Some more storage hidden in this corner. So yeah, you can make it really nice and cozy on the inside, I feel. Uh, top side, I don't didn't do too much, but some more storage along the sides. We've got this little fridge thing. We've got some beds. So yeah, I think it's a nice little cozy house and especially like the downstairs area. But yeah, you got a nice little view of your surroundings from these top windows as well. But I think the bottom part is definitely the nice and cozy Viking bed that you want. Uh, and then of course, uh, yeah, I think it just looks very nice with the grass texture on the thatch roof. Uh, we've got the pen, of course, where you can go inside. You can keep some dinos here, like Ovis. They, they're they trying to get out, but they can't, uh, at least in my experience. So, yeah, this should keep most smaller dinos safe. And then you have the main door here as well. So nice and easy also to park up some starter dinos, maybe some raptors, something like that. Uh, yeah, I think it is a nice and cozy build and i hope you'll have fun with it hopefully you enjoy it let me know if you build it or if you maybe have any additions or variations you're doing to it when you build it in your own world